Now she's got big tits. They bounce! <laughs> <laughs> they move when she walks. <laughs> Look at the boobs! <laughs> I just pick up until I can't pick up anymore, then. Same to it. Yeah, when you pick up too many skulls, it'd be like, you have too many heads. <laughs> I have too, many, I have too yeah, much head. Because my dick's so big. Oh my god. There's nothing wrong with too much head. Yeah, I was expecting a bigger. I was expecting an angry anaconda. Looks like he, he although he might be a grower and not a shower. So. Oh come on! You might, looks like you might need treatment. I I am back. Let's let's get rid of turn this off. Right. You'd like to hear a new story? Oh, very well. Where shall we begin? <laughs> hey, um... Shopkeepers will offer significant discounts to the bard if he has high charisma. The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. A high vitality will increase the bard's health, making him more difficult to defeat in battle. Rhythm allows the bard to play magical tunes with greater skill, enhancing the statistics of summoned creatures. A high dexterity allows the bard to inflict greater damage with ranged weapons. Luck has a subtle effect on many aspects of the bard's adventures. allows the bard to equip and use two-handed weapons. Allows the bard to fight with a dirk in one hand and a sword in the other. Allows the bard to equip and use a flail. The bard will automatically bash with his shield after blocking, stunning his enemy. A powerful charging attack which stuns enemies, used with a sword skill. A powerful ranged shot, which passes through its target, used with a ranged skill, gives the bard a chance to score a critical hit on his enemies, inflicting additional damage. The bard gains bonus coins for any treasure he finds. Mm. Okay, what are we thinking? I kind of want to go with a shield, so two-handed weapons is probably out, as well as dual will. Gives the bard a chance to score a critical hit on his end. It had come to this at last. One man 
a poet and a rogue, with no friends to speak of, no one to mourn his passing, should it come to that. Even those beside him are no more boon companions than bond servants, summoned by sorcery and song, as cold and indifferent to him as the light of a wandering star. I did turn sounds down. It might just be the um, the voices that are a little too loud. So I'll turn that down. You've made a mistake in coming here. But to know where he is, we need to know where he is from. And to know that, we've got to begin elsewhere. And not that long ago. A simple man he was, with a quick wit and a sharp tongue, an eye for the lasses, and a talent for keeping one step ahead of the law, come to Houghton to play his tunes and make his way. He found himself standing outside the Drunken Rat, a public house owned by the widow Mary McCrary. The bard readied his instrument and prepared to ply his trade. Okay, did I just summon a rat so that I have a job to do? I think I did. Ah, a rat! A rat! You drunken lots, get off your backsides and kill it. I'll save you, fair damsel. <laughs> Oh, what a strapping man you are to be saving me from that wee beastie. I happened to be wandering by when I heard your cries over the rumbling of my empty belly. You aren't hers, are you? No, but aren't you the sweet one for asking? See, I've an idea. If you'd be willing to do a little job for me, I'd give you a good meal and a warm place to lay your head for the night. I'd Is it be between only those boobies? <laughs> I love how it just did a big stir. For it's a wee rat problem I've got in my cellars, and if you could do away with them, I'd be ever so thankful. Rats, you say? In the cellar? How cliche of you, love. But I'll forgive you this once. You'll need a bigger sword than what you've got, in case you run into trouble. Oh, and my, the, sword my sword is... sword is quite big enough to handle any... troubles? You might have. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you've got a decently sized sword there, Bard. I'm pretty sure you've got a decent sword. Okay, sound options. Because we can't help it. Okay, let's let let's listen to the drunks. The Admiral of Sultan King. I, I admit to Google, uh, to listening to this song a few times on YouTube. For us, he filled us up with cheer. Lord bless Charlie Mops, the man who invented beer, 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 tiddly beer, beer, beer. Five short seconds. Remember, Charlie Mops. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, 
sandwiches stink. The kind of lubrication to make your engines kink. Bertie paints a wallop, but he will keep away the quacks. It's only eight and seven, and you only six and tax. This is amazing. I love this. I'm sad the song is over. Hey, I understand your hesitation, stranger. There isn't enough ale in this town to get me to go down there. Then again, I'm a cowering sort. I'm not a chicken. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's a save point. Okay, yes. Let's save. Let's just totally smash all of the things. Because I know sometimes in these type of games, the barrels have stuff. complete all hail the bard rat killer and rodent bane who has bravely made the cellars once again safe for buxom barmaids and wanton widows or has he at the ah! Ah! Ah, 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 mean mean rat mean rat the bard finding himself wreathed in flame dashed up the stairs towards the safety of the tavern okay fine can't do that yet. I'm on fire. <laughs> Oh, quit laughing at me! Nicely done. Or is that well done? <laughs> Not well done. More like medium rare. Now we'll have another go at him with this. Boobs! You better hope I've cooled off when I return, or you're next. Where did you come from? How'd you get down here? Look here, laddie, don't be concerning yourself with such things right now. I'm here to help you with your rat problem. Any brute can swing a sword. If you really want to slay that hairy beastie, try playing this tune on that loot of yours. Go on, clear off out of it. I've no use for you. I'm not offering to go with you, laddie. I'm offering you a bit of song and magic. Emotional damage! Now the rat gets dinner and a show. 
It's so bloody powerful. Use it yourself and save me the trouble. Would that I could. But I'm not a man of action like yourself. So do yourself a favor and take a little charity when it's offered, my boy. Done. Show me what you got. Okay, I can summon the thunder spider. Head on there and face that huge rat. I'd like to be sure that you know your business. Would you like me to teach you a few wee things that will help you get the best of any foes you might encounter? I think I'm going to regret this. But I'll humor you, old man. Good job, lad. You already know how to attack, but let's talk about defending yourself. Press the defend key. What? What are you on about? You're completely insane, aren't you? You know, I ran into this other guy once. He kept talking about mice I couldn't see. Now I'm blocking pretend blows. I hope you appreciate what I'm going through here and reward me sufficiently. That was great, Boyo. You'll notice that instead of holding down the key, you'll have to time your defense for the enemy's attack. Of course I have to time it. How else am I going to block anything? Now, laddie, let's teach you how to play that loot of yours and make some magic. What? Does my name not mean anything to you? The Bard? Did you not see me summon that rat a few moments ago? Press the summon menu key. You're not listening to a word I'm saying, are you? Okay, so that's three. You see several choices. These are the different types of beasties you'll eventually be able to summon. For now, let's summon that spider I taught you about. Well, that was useful, at least. <coughs> Finally. This part is important, so listen up, laddie. The creatures that you summon aren't under your complete control, but they will try to do what you wish to the best of their ability. Try to give them orders using the command key. For example, press the aggressive key and make your little friend there become more aggressive. Attack! Ah, you're getting the hang of things now, aren't you, lad? <laughs> you can experiment with different uses of the command keys to develop your own strategies. Now, at times... You may want to get rid of a creature you've summoned. Simply go back into the same menu you've summoned him from and select him again. That's the way to get rid of an unwanted creature. Great. Does that trick work on you as well? Good <laughs> Okay. In the future, I'm going to have to learn how to dodge these mysterious old man types. Rat killer and rodent bane, who's bravely made the cell. How about you tell the story and leave the sarcastic patronizing to me? Okay? <laughs> I love the humor of this already. Okay, barmaid, show me those titties. I, I did your thing. Run away again, did ya? Go back to where you came from and leave the fighting to those who've got the guts for it. 
I've plenty of guts, milady. Which is why you needn't trouble yourself about that rat any longer. You mean it's dead? Oh, thank you. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Twas the least I could do for a damsel in distress. Now, how about that meal? Why don't you wait while I fix you some leftovers? Oh, and your room in the back is almost ready. Will you be joining me in that room, lady? <laughs> Having spent a lonely night in a somewhat uncomfortable and shabby bed, the bard awoke the next morning in a foul humour. You should go speak with that strange friend of yours. He was starting to scare away my regular customers. I had to chase him out. She looks very, very happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you killed a rat. Would you want a medal? Yes. Or titties. impressive young man i wish i had the guts to stand up to the wife the way you stood up to that rat but of course she's a bit more vicious <laughs> that's such a nice thing to say about your wife you killed it you killed it the fire breathing rat in the cellar was the best practical joke we had now what are we supposed to do to entertain ourselves <laughs> What did I tell you, lad? You hooked him and cooked him. Thanks to that song you gave me. You're welcome, boy. -o. And should you be looking for another one like it, find the trow in the fairy haunt woods. But keep your wits about you. They're devilish clever, the trow. With magic by the pound, and not a single scrap of honesty. Do I look like a village idiot to you? I've had more than my fill of barbarian hordes, evil wizards, cities locked in eternal winter, and any other type of adventure you care to throw my way. There's too much danger and not enough profit to go around. Come now, boy. What's a little danger when compared to power? Didn't that little trick I showed you help you get in good with the Widow McCrary? If it's a skin you're worried about, I will wee trinket here that'll keep you safe from harm. Ooh, a trinket. It was made by a powerful sorceress. It can summon her spirit to heal your wounds in battle. Ooh. You'll need adder stones to provide the necessary mystical power. If you like, you can even use multiple stones for even greater effect. Dear laddie, try it out. Who is she? She's beautiful. I'll take the amulet, old man. And, uh, what were you saying about her trail? Find him in the fairy haunt woods. Bannerfeet be his name. He can teach you magic enough to impress any lass. Yes, there are so many tits. I love it. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going right now, but we let's let's have a look around. Oh, this is a store. Okay, let's let's have a look. <clears throat> well, now you must be the bard that everyone's been talking about—the fellow with the spider made of lightning. 
It's honoured I am to have you in my shop, sir, and happy to facilitate all your arms and armament needs. Swords, bows, or armour, everything here is first rate and for sale. Terms of cash in advance, in full, all sales final with no letters of credit, layaways, or IOUs. We do have a buyback policy. If you buy it, don't bring it back. Haha. -ha. So look over what you want, and I'll be happy to cover the finer points of any item I have in stock. But remember the golden rule you break it, you buy it. I could use some protection. It's a fact. A warrior is only as tough as his weakest armour. Plenty of folks have bought the cheap stuff, but none of them have been repeat customers, if you take my meaning. Well, I don't have any money, yeah, so... Hmm. This looks interesting. Peeking at my map, are you? I can tell you this much. It's as old as the hills and chock full of danger and delight. The fellow I had it from said there's plenty of frights to make things hot. Plenty of X's marking the spot. Let me see something else. See you, old man. I think we need to be killing some things. Top of the morning to you. I just want to see if anyone has quests for me. Preferably quests that pay money, because I need money. Hello? So you're the fellow that's been chasing through Houghton with your rats and lightning spiders, eh? All I'm after is songs and silver, and I've no mind to break the laws in getting them. That's fine. My job is to be keeping the peace, collecting the taxes, and fending off the Kunal Trow. Respect that, and you're welcome to stay in Houghton as long as you please. Otherwise, you'll find yourself in me jail. Well, I don't particularly want to be in your jail. Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Welcome to the Kirk of Houghton, young man. We can lay our hands for a healing and blessing, should you feel inclined to make a small donation. Here you are. Blessings upon you. Okay, what's this? The Brock? We're just... Ah, oh, okay, this guy has barrels. Okay. Hello, traveller. Could I interest you in any of my finely crafted barrels? I have many models to choose from, all displayed attractively right outside my shop. Hmm, let me think. Now. If they're all displayed attractively outside your shop, I'm going to smash. What do you mean I can't? Oh, I can smash. It wasn't me. I didn't what do it. Doing? Stop that right now. Why are you breaking my barrels? I didn't know these belonged to anyone. Well, they do. It took me all day to make those. I don't mind if you break them after they're sold, but don't destroy my inventory before I've sold them. 
Okay, I'll lay off these. But if I see a barrel somewhere else, I will, of course, be forced to destroy it. Fine with me. You just keep smashing barrels, and I'll start setting aside silver for you for every new barrel I sell to replace the ones you've broken. Go back here any time, and I'll make good on my promise and pay you... Okay, so own. smash oh, all of the barrels so that people need to buy more I'll barrels. Gotcha. Come look you up. Okay. That, that sounds good to me. Sorry. As long as the barrels aren't in front of your shop... Old man Vinter's Brock. Oh, I thought he was naked for a moment there, but he's not. That's fine. Be careful, young sir. There is a ferocious bugbear on the loose. Grrr. I'd best leave be if I were you. I, I, I mean, I mean, you'd best leave if you were you. Oh, you know what I mean. You should leave Houghton and ne'er come back. Don't worry, old man. If I was you, then there'd be two rambling idiots in this brock. <laughs> wait, if I were you, there'd only be one rambling idiot in this. No, no, wait, if I were... No, oh, fine, never mind. Either way, I'm not planning on moving in here. I'll be gone soon enough. I okay, so I'm guessing he wants me to kill a bugbear? Why are you so scared of me, woman? Thief, you'll get nothing from me, for I've only these old bones and a heavy heart. Sorry, Grandad, I didn't expect to find you here or frighten you when I did. I'm only looking out for a bit of silver to line my pockets. Of course you are, young sir, and I happen to know how you might find some, for it's a cruel bugbear that's been keeping the farmers from observing their rituals, and us farmers have to perform our rituals at the Houghton Cairn. Without them, the crops won't grow and the weans go hungry. I know what it means to be hungry, and worse it is for a child. So, a fair price for a fair piece of work, and it's a bargain. Ah, bless you, my boy. I knew you for a game lad the moment I saw you. As for the bugbear, you'll find him in the cairn, and when you're done with him, come back here and we'll pay you what we can. a lot of houses to go in and explore because because i'm exploring like no one has to know i totally robbed that this house no one has to know that no one saw me Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Sorry. Um, I'm just watching your boobs jiggle, that's all. Sorry. Look at them jiggle! Excuse me. Look at the jiggle physics! Sorry. He was messing with the jiggle fit of booties. Excuse me. I uh, don't think we will. There's my primary. Okay, we want to investigate the bugbear can. I, that's the one we want to do. Nope. This is where we're going. <clears throat> bugbear gets precedent. Okay, um, equipment. Okay, um gives the bard a chance. Conceivable. Thus ends the bard's tale. Well, where's like okay, like I've got my sword. Why won't it let me? Like, there's no.
Like, I, I'm just kind of confused. Like, why am I not stabbing it with my sword? I, my sword's equipped. Or is it? Do I not have a sword? Why am I trying to punch it? Why, where is my sword? Why can't I stab it? Thank you. 
Like, why is my sword not equipped? I don't know how to do that. Well, I can't do that yet. Thus ends our tale. Like if I had a stabby sword, that would be fine. Hey, okay, maybe I'm not supposed to do that just yet. Do this just yet, maybe. Like my sword is there. Why can't I stab things? So if I go out this way, am I still going to be stabbing things with my fists? Or am I going to be able to pull out my sword and stabby stab? Okay. Okay, that would be nice. Okay, I've just looked it up and it would have been nice for it to give me instructions on how to... Yeah, why would it let me... Like, and here's the thing. Like, I've got... Charge. Hold back. Stay where you are. Back off. Stand your ground. Hold back. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Stand your ground. Hold back. Back off. Hold back. Oh, now then. Uh, yes, I remember where we were. Yes. Okay, well, regardless, this should be easier now that I have a sword and I'm not trying to punch it. We might actually be able to do this now I'm not trying to punch it.
Yeah, this is heaps easier now I'm not trying to punch it in the face. It's nearly dead. before the bugbear kills me. Hehehehe. <laughs> I want. I don't care. Go ahead and look. I'm not a bugbear. I'm just a dirty old bastard running around in a smelly old rug with a bucket for a head. Go ahead. Take all my silver. I don't need it anyway. I was saving it all up for a date with the widow McClary until she found out I'm still living with me mother. <laughs> now she won't even speak to me. You know what else? I'm 42 and still a virgin. How pathetic is that? Ah, oh, just kill me, please! Just get it over with. <laughs> You're just pathetic. I agree. <clears throat> Thank goodness the heroic bard was present to stop that horrible bugbear from looting the tomb of all its precious treasures. <laughs> My treasure now. Ha 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 ha. Well, we killed the bugbear, so I'm happy. Now.
Sorry. Oh, hold on a bit. Sorry. You've been bumping into folks all over the village. Enough is enough. I think you owe me an apology. How about I stick you with my pointy, sexy, stabby sword? All I'll owe you is a face full of knuckles, if you take that tone with me again. You will become very familiar with this tone, you aimless oaf. For I demand an apology, and I will get one. I'm just gonna stab people with my sexy, sexy sword. Well, how's this trying There you are. Remember me? I'm the patient villager you owe an apology to. Oh, yes, you know, I am sorry. Sorry I didn't pummel you earlier. So, we meet again. I'm thinking you still owe me an apology. You know, it's going to be hard to beg for an apology without a bleeding tongue. Fine, don't let me stab. I want to stab. <laughs> A blessing on your head and all your tasks, young fella. We should have figured it was old Vintners pulling that stunt. We passed a hat and collected all the silver we could. Here's some pieces for all your troubles. Take them and be well. Thank you. Now, I'm, I'm wondering if I should go buy something from the shop. Where's the shop? Save first. I can tip the cow. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Let's have a look at your armor then. It's a fact. A warrior is only as tough as his weakest armor. Plenty of folks have bought the cheap stuff, but none of them have been repeat customers if you take my meaning. Let me see something else. Let's talk about close quarters combat. This is where we have our close combat weaponry. When you're battling a foe up close and personal, you don't want to skimp on your instrument of battle. In most cases, not the best man, but the best weapon walks away to tell the tale. What else you got? Show me your bows. If you ask me, there's no better place to battle a deadly foe than from a distance. The more you spend on this ranged weapon... Ah, interesting. You're looking to drop them from a distance? That's a long bow. These are the finest kiln-dried white ash bows from the weapon shops of Kirkwall. The choice of sylvan assassins... Yeah, I'll take that off your hands. Excellent choice, my friend, for the longbow is often the key to a long life. Use it in good health. See you, old man. Like, that'll be handy, too. I can do some... I can shooty shoot. I cannot... <gasps> Why, yes, very much. We would like to talk to the puppy. Hello, doggo. Yes. Oh, You're a spry little thing. I could do with a friend. Care to throw him with me? <gasps> I have a doggo. Oh, 
I just want to tip cows. Let's tip cows. <laughs> Look, you. I'll give you one more chance to apologize before I knock your teeth in. Yeah, and I'll give you one last chance to get a life while you're actually still living. Hey, you! I won't drop this. You'd better apologize. I suggest you drop it before I drop you. Right here, right now. Oh, come on! I want to stab him! I don't know why I'm not allowed to stab. Bard, having slain the random wolf, found that it had digested not only the contents of a small treasury, but also various household <laughs> goods. Wait, wait am, I, am I reading that correctly? This can't be right. You'd be surprised. I find all kinds of things inside these beasties. Do I ever tell you about the time I killed this rat and out popped an entire chest? Well, I'm just going to skip those passages in the future. What? That's a major source of income. You cheap good-for-nothing horses. <clears throat> And so the bard continued on his journey. This voice sounds familiar to me, but I can't place it. Um... Where I freaking know his voice from. Yes. <clears throat> I know. <laughs> He's Frollo from Disney's Hunchback of Notre Dame. That's where I know the narrator from. Hey, Killer, how are you doing today?
check all of the places and all of the things for shiny things because, yeah. Oof. Yeah, I get, yeah, hay fever is definitely the worst. the bard is the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons okay we we are doing a lot of the smacky smack with sexy swords so um But I like that um, it definitely poked, poked fun out of, like, random shit just coming out of, like, random enemies' guts. I like that it did poke fun at that. Like, the controls are a bit fiddly, but humor-wise, I am really enjoying this. I just want to explore all of the places and kill all the things. I hear you, doggo. I hear you. I tried. I tried to 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 explore the crevices between the between the barmaid's tips, but she wouldn't let me. Just a shame. I wanted to show her how impressive my sword was. Oh, the tree stump is a chest. Okay. I didn't know they were chests. Well 
now. Who have we here, eh? You must be the fella who's been chasing all over, putting the touch on the locals with that shocking beast of yours. You must be Banafi. I've been sent here about a tune you might be willing to part with. Now it just so happens that I don't know a wee song, and if you do me a little favour, I might be willing to part with it. Okay. Right, let's hear this favour then. I've got a friend in the forest jail by the name of Kettle Swat. Spring him free for me and you'll get your song. You don't have to worry about any guards at the jail. They've been chased off by the Kunal Trow. I can't help you with their patrols, but you can get through the door with only a password. You'll need to say fiddle snuff to the Kunal Trow guarding the door to be let in. So, just get him out and then come back here and I'll teach you some magic. Fair enough? Done. Just have that song for me when I get back. I'm no man's errand boy. To show my goodwill, I've even opened up a quick way back to town for you. It's right over there. <laughs> Toby fell off the rails a bit. Just a little bit. Okay, so we've got a break. So we're going to go break someone out of jail. We can do that. Oh, yum, 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 pizza. Well, that's what I had tonight. <laughs> Family pictures. I don't know why I didn't get a dog sooner?
What's the password? Fiddlestaff. Ooh, level up. Okay. Allows the bard to train his dog in the fine art of combat. <gasps> yes, we are going to train Doggo. Yes. Yes, Doggo is now trained in the fine art of combat and can fight with us. Oh, benefit must have. Supposed to be here. Hmm. Do you have any barrels for me to smash? Which one of you bloody heathens is Ketil Squat? Banafeet sent me here to set you free. I'm Kettle Swart. No, he's not. I'm Kettle Swart. Like hell, I'm Kettle Swart. To hell with them. I'm Kettle. What's it matter which one of us is Kettle? Set us all free. We'll never convince you which one of us are telling the truth, so just flip those switches in the order I tell you, and it will open the doors. Yes, the sheriff has these doors rigged with some bizarre six-switch combination lock that only he's supposed to know. But we've been watching closely. And we know the order to flip them. Already I've been reduced to flipping switches by order criminals. Great. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Pull that one. Pull that one. Pull that one. Pull that one. Pull that, pull, pull that one. No, not that one. Hmm. It might be that pull one. Pull that one. No, not that one. I think that's ah. it. Pull that one. It might be that one. No, not that one. No, that won't help. Hmm. It might be that no, one. No, no, no. Oh, no, not that one. Hmm. It might be that no, one. No, not that one. Pull that one. Oh, I think so. Try switch one. Yes, yes. Pull that one. No, that won't help. Uh, that doesn't seem there right. There you go. Pull it and let us free. Yes, that's the one. I think that's the no, one. No, that isn't it. No, not that one. Hmm. It might be that no, one. No, the last one is lever three. Oh, no, not that one. That might there you it. go. Pull it and let us free. That's the one. That's it. Oh, no, it isn't. Try another. No, the last one is lever three. See how easy that was? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, haven't had this much fun since I was almost barbecued by a giant rat. One good turn deserves another. I'll pay you back when next we meet. Yeah, sure, next time, yeah. I don't know why you did this, but I'm most thankful. It's a long story. Maybe you'd like to have a seat while I tell you about it, in the middle of a coonal trow infested jail. Let's get out of here before I regret what I've done. More than I already do.
Jai Am I good or what? My dog, did you? That's okay. You're right. Yeah, it's okay. Doggo's fine. No, she's she's mad about the 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 evil troll things killing dog, like hurting doggo. So not allowed to hurt doggo. I'll be able to go to the shop and get me some better armor. Should be good. Um, we stole their pants. Why? Why did we steal their pants, Bard? 
Why did we steal their pants? <laughs> I I want to go back to the shop first. Pardon me. Pardon me. Because we have enough money to get um, get some better armor. So I do want to do that. Okay. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Let's have a look at your armor then. It's a fact. A warrior is only as tough as his... Oh, interesting. Now you're talking leather armor. Reinforced with hammer forged iron studding and all weather bronze buckles cast by the sea folk of the western shores. Like all my leathers, it's fully articulated for comfort and ease of movement and will keep you standing when others leave you bleeding. I'll take it. A smart man, yeah, and one who knows the true value of his own life. I've always said there's no reason to try and save money when it comes to armor, for you can't take it with you. See you, old man. So we got us some better armor. <clears throat> I cannot talk. Oh, that's right. We want to be smashing barrels. Okay, I know there's a lot of barrels in the cellar here, so I'm just going to smash them all. Painful. Take that. Then the bard looted the chest which contained the widow's most precious... Wait a minute. Did I read that properly? You're stealing from her? I wouldn't call it stealing, exactly. I mean, people leave all kinds of things in chests, and they never seem to object when I help myself. Think of it as a public service. I mean, who knows how cluttered these chests might become if I didn't do my part to help clean them out. In hindsight, don't I'm surprised that this don't, 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 I, 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 I like what he says. I'm surprised it took this long to get his hands on it, Chess. Um, it's not the chest I wanted to get my hands on, though.
Okay, I'll let the guy out of jail. Oh, thank you. I wagered Sheriff Rocky that Kettle wouldn't be locked up for more than a day. I sent the Kunal Trow to free him, but they decided to take over the jail and claim it as their own. I thought for sure I'd lose, but now you come along and win the bet for me. Well, a deal's a deal. So, here's your song. Okay, so what does this song do? The heroine was deadly accurate with the crossbow and quite nimble in battle. The equal of most any man in combat. Worth about ten men of the bard's type. do that yet. Need my help. Hello, sexy friend. I have a sexy friend following me now. It's just me, my sexy crossbow woman, and my dog. Do you want to see the jiggle physics? Because I will show you the jiggle physics. No. That. You know what I mean. Well, now. Fancy running into you again? Yeah, yeah, it's... yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's all a big coincidence. You're stalking me. Have some more magic along the way. If it's even more power you'd like, then you want to pay a visit to my brother, Boo, in Kirkwall. Your brother, eh? He anything like you? Oh, no. He's not really my brother, you see. But a member of my order. Of course he is. Now, lad, you've only benefited from the knowledge I've given you in the past. That's what worries me. Seek out Bo in Kirkwall. I'll speak no more of it. Good luck to you, laddie. Were we confused about killer? Yeah, that's the jiggle physics. Okay, you don't have any barrels to smash. Thank you. 
Pardon me. Business is picking up, and I'm sure I have you to thank. Here you go. Thank you. Watch out for Sher Pardon me. You don't see the jiggle phys physics. Um, let me find it. Let me find one. Look. Sorry. Look how her boobs Sorry. move when she walks. Sorry. They jiggle when she walks. That's the jiggle physics right there. Uh, no, her boobs are definitely moving. <laughs> They're doing the jiggles. Okay. You're a dog after me, own art. Yes, he's the best doggo. He's best doggo. We're going to leave it here. We'll pick this up on, I believe it's going to be Wednesday. <laughs> well, Monday I thought that might have been what you meant by jiggle jiggle. <laughs> okay, um, let's see who we got. Is this supposed to be? Oh. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Okay, um, <laughs> okay so um i honestly think that this is the first time that i've had the chance to raid this amazing person um i've known her for a good few years now um like she's not like some of you may know her um she has she has like at times I don't always line up because she she's American so um it's always like really early in the morning for her when I start streaming but she pops in when she can 
um, like and stuff like that. Um, she's playing Scorn at the moment and yeah doing some stream late raiders as well she's an absolutely amazing person um i'm sure you guys will love her um and yeah give her all the love um raid message there if you subbed and if you're not Oh, don't I normally play music while I'm doing this? I do. If if you're not subbed, you can use that. Um, so I think it's Wednesday next week that we'll be playing more of this. <laughs> okay um so yeah i'm gonna get this raid started we're gonna go say hi to crystal um thank you guys for chilling with me um for both um for both the pets hotel which um in all honesty i could have kept playing for the entirety of stream um but i'm like yeah uh i said we were starting I, I, I did say that we were starting the Bard's Tale today, and that's what we we were doing. So, yeah, let's. So, um, yeah. Tomorrow, um, got another indie game, and then we'll be getting into just some Ghost of Tsushima, um. It'll probably be side quest central, because um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff on the on the thing. Yeah, so it'll probably be side quest central on get Ghost of Tsushima tomorrow. But yeah, we 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 shall see. <laughs> there is no main story; it's just one giant side quest. <laughs> okay, um, so I'm gonna get the raid started. We can say hi to Crystal. You guys will absolutely love her. And anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Much love to you. Bye.